I'm Gigi and today I'm going to show you how to make adult baptismal beds. This is a sample. Well, this is a finished product. This is the way they look and this is the way you wear them. They also can be made in children's sizes. So there you go. So let's get started. I'll show you how to make one. Okay, here's the pattern I use. Um, it's made out of kind of a papery fabric you can get at a sewing store like Joann's. It has little squares on it. It allows you to, you know, have an inch square measurement. It makes it easier to lay things out. So the measurement for my adult one is from this point to this point is 21 inches. These are 5 inches. Both are 5. From this point to this point, is 12 and a half inches and from this length to this length is 24 inches so the important thing is it's got to mirror each other so that it's exactly the same on both sides okay the fabric I use is a cotton muslin I like the really nice I don't like the blue muslin color but the good thing, this is 90 inches wide, which means it comes folded one, two, three, and four. Do you see the folds? Which means when you lay the pattern on it, you will get four cuts at one time. You can tell I've already cut one before, but it's like this. And you might have to take your fabric and press it, but see how it lays down? And then the next one, you would reverse and do it this way on the cut. So you're using up as much of the fabric as you can. Okay? So that's how you get your four cuts. Okay, here's one of the pieces. We now have four of these individual pieces. And this is the time, if you're wanting to embroidery, this is the time that you're going to put something like this on here. And I can tell you how I place it. I take my measure... And I'll use this uh, more than once. And it got, you're going to measure right in the center all the way up to here. Okay? And then this is, the center of my cross is three and a half inches down. So this is where I'm going to place it. And this is, right now, I would pick this piece up and I would embroider it. And then I would bring it back. Then what I would do is I would take the second piece of this, right? The, this is the right side with the embroidery. I'm going to put the other piece here, and I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam only on one side, not on this side, only on one side, and make sure that the embroidery will be on the inside. Okay, and you're going to do the exact same thing to the other two pieces. So now you're going to have two separate pieces put together. Okay, I also, when I measure with my uh, foot when I'm sewing, I already know where a quarter inch is. So I'll find a piece on here, like from here to the center where my needle would be. So I know when I follow along and it's Right on that line, the silver, I know from there to the center where the needle would be, would be my quarter inch. And so that's the measurement I use. So if you're, whatever it is the best way for you to measure when you're stitching. Whenever I stitch along here, later on, I will use that as a measure. So that's my quarter inch, and that's how I keep up with my quarter inch. Okay, now I have the two pieces. As you can tell, I've sewn them together. Now I put right sides together so these two seams that I sewed together right now match right here. Can you see where I put them? And I'm going to line them up. Right sides are together. There's the cross put on here, right? Here's the lines. Remember me telling you we need lines from one point to the other. So this is the way it's supposed to look. Well, one side's going to be open. I'm going to stitch all the way around here. And I'm going to stitch all the way around here. And these are going to be open. 
it's important that these two openings are even, that when you put them together, they're even. So I make a mark, and I put, four, this is four inches in between here, because I can work with, four inches is easy for me to work with. But these two points have to be able to match once your sewing is done. So you're going to put your foot down, and you're going to sew, right, start with it on the center, and there might be a little extra room. For example, if I'm going to start here and my foot is in the middle, it might, and I'll just kind of work down from here. I'll work it down till now I'm going to just follow the line like that along and sew. And I'm going to do it on both sides. Okay? So that's the next step I do. Okay, guys, I want to remind you that remember the green line that I made? You're going to stitch to this line, and you're going to turn and go straight up this line. Okay? Also remember that they don't have to match perfectly, but you are going to take these corners, and you're going to trim them down as close as you can. So when you turn it, it's not all bunched up in the points. Okay? And at these corners, you're going to take and trim into as close as you can to where you've sewn down. So that when you turn it, it doesn't bunch up. Another little bit of information is I use this pen. It removes by friction. So this one is made by Pilot. And what it allows me to do is to draw all over fabric and it disappears when you press it with an iron. So if I draw something and I don't like where I drew it, I can press it, let it cool off a little bit, and I can draw the line again. So it's a great pen. It doesn't leave any residue or anything. All right, the other thing I want to tell you about is when I was talking about trimming in here, you're going to trim really close down in here, okay? And I do a couple of little stitches. And you're going to, when you sew, you need to really use a really tight stitch. I use a 2.5, but this has got to be really tight because you're trimming really close and you need this stitch that you're using as you sew to be tight enough that you can trim close to it and it's not going to you know fall apart and, and when you turn it right side out and you're pushing these little points and stuff that you don't push through them from the other side okay so you just you're going to sew really really uh trim really really close okay and now i have turned it right side out after i sewed the pieces together i have pressed it just a basic press so it's nice and smooth enough so it's easier to sew and you notice this side is still open and I'm going to show you how I'm going to put those together okay okay here we go remember we pressed it we still have these two open so we're going to turn these put the two the front outside together right and then you're going to match these so that they match up perfectly remember it was really important to have these to be the same and what we're going to do is take the two center ones here and we're going to pin it together I pin it together like this but when I'm sewing I have to kind of unpin it because I'm kind of pulling because you're going to be sewing inside of this you're going to do your quarter inch seam just like you've been doing around it because that's what you put on the other side and you want the each one to be the same and you're going to follow around and you're only going to, and you're going to sew past the seam on both sides till about here okay you're going to sew it all the way around and when you're doing it you're probably going to have to undo the pins and stuff and wiggle the sewing machine Put in here so you can sew the quarter inch and you're going to sew it all the way around past the seam and on in here about you know a half inch or more as close as you can get it a quarter inch okay that's what we're going to do next I'll show you how you sew it okay so I stitched all along this and worked it all the way around. You really, when you have your sewing machine in there, you really have to wiggle it up in there. And when I'm done, you just pull it together. 
There it is. Then what you do, is you just stick one side inside, like so, and hope it fits. And then you're gonna press it Now I can work these out. I'm not gonna spend time doing it, but at least you have an idea. And then you're gonna hand stitch this shut. Maybe you could even use stitch witchery, you know. It's kind of whatever you wanna do, but you're gonna close this little piece up and this is what it's gonna look like on this side. All right, so now we're all done and this is the way it looks. So there you go. Thanks for watching my video. Again, it's Gigi with her adult baptismal bib. See you later.